welcome to my channel genome wise study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos in this video we will talk about qrt pcr this is the part first of qrt pcr in this part we will discuss that how to do qrt pcr analysis step by step from a to z so let's start for example you have done the experiment like uh, uh, you want to check the over expression and knockdown of your gene or you have done the experiments about stress level like salt stress or cold stress or drought stress or any other stress that you have given or any other experiment and you want to check the expression of different gene in that sample or treated sample like here i am giving the example that example one is about experiment one you have done the experiment and you have the samples like oh, sample one is controlled that every experiment have <coughs> so and then the sample two is the over expression and uh, sample three is the knockdown so you want to check the expression of your genes in the in these three in samples of your this experiment or you have other stress related experiment and you have the uh, sample like uh, you have given the treatment a uh, salt treatment uh, one have the control while the other you have the salt treated uh, samples like you given the 4 millimolar or 8 millimolar and uh, whatever you have given the treatment and you have the sample of that experiment these are only example you can take with your own data now you want to check the expression of uh, four genes it's uh, it's the only example that i am taking the four genes it's up to you that how many uh, genes expression you want to check in these samples so how to prepare the sample and mass mass mix to run the q pcr first you need to calculate that the total number of samples used are wells of the plate that what are the wells of the plate the wells of the plates means the plate in which we keep our samples and run the pcr this plate usually contains 96 wells and it is like this it has about eight rows and these rows named a A B C D up to H and have twelve column with name one two three four five six up to twelve and these are total number is ninety six. Second, you need to calculate the total volume that you need to prepare for all samples. For example, how much volume needs in one well and total number of samples. for mentioned experiments we need the total number of wells for example we have total three treatments like one is control other is over expression and third one is knock down in term of uh, salt stress the control the second one is the 4 millimolar treated and third one is the 8 millimolar and someone i have taken only three men maybe some have five four six Or like this treated sample, like someone give the control, other have the four millimolar, uh, millimolar, other third one have the eight, fifth one have the twelve millimolar, fourth one have the twelve, and the fifth one have the sixteen, and so on. And I am just taking the example, so that's why I am taking three. And then each sample you need to repeat three times, so it is replication, so three replication. and other is the total number of genes i am taking the example of four genes you may take uh, five six or one or how much you have so you can do that one and one is the internal control that is actin or any other internal control you are using so this total number is five so the total number of wells will be used treated sample replication and the total number of genes so multiply them and it is total is 45 
Now each well contains about 20 microliter volume of your mixture. So the total volume will be 20 multiplied by 45 is equal to 900 microliter you need to prepare to check the expression of these genes in three samples. Now there are different chemicals or ingredients used in QRT mix that is one is master mix other are the primers of your specific gene that were the forward primer and the reverse primer F for forward and R for reverse and then the cDNA of that sample in which you want to check the expression of your genes and then is the double distal water in the, all these chemicals are ingredients used in a specific ratio one is the master mix. Usually, you master mix use half of the total volume. If you your one well contains 20 microliter, then you can use 10 microliter of this master mix, and it contains different chemicals that you need to use, and uh, you can check them uh, in the in that in this manual. I mean, when you buy it from the company, so company give that all that manual, so you can check there and from and confirm it. Another one is the primer that is forward and reverse. In 20 microliter total volume, the primer is used in one microliter in which 0.5 microliter forward and 0.5 microliter reverse primer used. And the concentration of these primers is depends up to your experiment. That how much concentration of these experiment you use. And third one is the cDNA. In 20 microliter total volume, so you need to check or uh, use 2 microliter of cDNA and also the cDNA concentration is also depends that how much nanogram you are using either 1, 2, 3 or 5 nanogram what you want to use and the remaining one is use the double distal water to make the final volume of 20 microliter Now prepare one by one. For example, you have taken these five cubes, that 1.5 microliter cube. We need to check the expression of five genes. That four is our uh, gene and one is the internal control. So we need five 1.5 microliter cube and then label them. That this one is gene 1, gene 2, gene 3, gene 4 and this one is for acting. After labeling, now you need to calculate for one gene that how much volume we need. Then uh, that take that formula that total treatment and total replication and total number of genes is 1. So the total volume of well number of wells is 9. So 9 wells were used for 1 G. And uh, each well contains 20 microliter. So the total volume will be 180. But for caution purpose, you need to prepare up to 200 microliter instead of 180 microliter. So increase 1 well that becomes 10 instead of 9. So when you prepare the volume for 10 well, so it will become 200 microliter. Now we need to calculate that how much volume of each chemical or ingredient used in the mixture. We need for, for this purpose we use the formula that volume for one sample or well into total sample or well. So master mix we use 10 in a uh, that we use a half of the total volume that is we use in one volume uh, well is uh, 20 microliter so half is uh, 10 so master mix we use 10 and total uh, well for one gene is 10 so 100 microliter and primer we use one in the in 20 microliter and total number of wells is 10 so 10 microliter 5 microliter from each primer, 5 from forward and 5 from reverse. 
then cdna will be added separately in each well of the player now ddi2 will be used same one how why because in 20 microliter we use 10 mosfet mix one is forward and the last primer it is 11 two is uh, cdna that is 30 and remaining same one is ddi2 o to make the total volume 20 and total well was 10 so 70 mg for 1 g so the total volume is 180 do this with all five tubes this is the calculation for one tube for one gene and for the next gene you can also do the same calculation so this is our gene one that contains 180 microliter Uh, that uh, ED and that mosfet mix, primer, and uh, DDH2O. So all these tubes containing the mosfet mix, primer, and DDH2O, but they don't have the cDNA. So note, gene one tube contains the primer of gene one. <coughs> Sorry, the gene two tubes contains the primer of gene two, while gene three uh, tubes. Three, the gene three tube contains the primer of gene three, and gene four tube contains the primer of gene four, and the actin tube contains the primer of actin. Now take the plate and distribute the mixture in each well. For example, this is our that plate, and our each gene contains or needs nine wells. Because we check it in three sample with three replications, so it is nine. So this one from here A one to nine are uh, the sample of our one gene comes. So these are from gene two. Here are gene three and four and five. Now label the each gene well. In your notebook, that gene one you will add it from A one to A nine. Then gene two you will add it from A ten to B six. Gene three B seven to B three C three. And gene four C four to C twelve. And eighteen D one to D nine. These are your tubes that containing the gene one, mix two, three, four, and five. Now pick up the that gene one tube and take eighteen microliter mixture of it and put in a one. Then again take eighteen microliter and put it in a two. Again. Uh, 18 microliter from gene one and put it into three and distribute these gene one uh, mixture from A1 to A9 in this way and each well must contain 18 microliter. Now change the tip and then take the tube two and distribute these from A10 to B. Six and each well must contain 18 microliter. Then change the tip and distribute the gene three tube from A B seven to C three. In this way, A gene four and X three gene two will distribute from these in each respective well. And each well contains 18 microliter. And When you change means when distributed all the mixture of gene one, and now you want to start the next gene tube, so you must change the tip. Now take the sample one control cDNA tube. Control cDNA tube and take two microliter from this control cDNA and 
put it into a1 and then again 2 microliter from control at a2 and again 2 microliter and uh, in a3 now change the tip and take the 2 microliter from OE yeah, over expression PDNA and put it into A4 and then again 2 microliter from OE and put it into the A5 and then A6 now again take the PDNA from another sample that is knocked down and put it 2 microliter in a seven and then a eight and a nine. Now they already have the eighteen microliter each well, and then you have added these two microliters from C D N A, so it becomes twenty. So each well contains twenty microliter. Now again, take the control sample and put it into a ten to a twelve, and then put it and then. O is from B1 to B3 and KD B4 to B6. Again, control here in this way you can add, add the cDNA in each respective well to check the expression of these genes in this cDNA sample. Of course, adding the cDNA in each respective well you need to cover the plate and then keep it into thermocycle and adjust your optimized program that uh, uh, denaturing and annealing and extension and then run it and you need to label the each well in your notebook like this way that gene 1 contain the well a1 to a9 and in a1 to a3 your uh, your control sample or cdna a4 to a6 have the overstress sample and a7 to a9 have the knockdown in this way gene 2 have a10 to b6 in which the control A10 to A12, B1 to B3 is overstressed and B4 to B6 is knocked out. In this way all the wells, so you have must be noted that in which well contains which sample and which cDNA. So it will be easy when you do the analysis. When you then the QRPCR, it will give you the uh, data. So, how to analyze the data? We will do it in our next video. That was the QRT part 2. And it named as how to analyze the QRT data through different methods were used for calculation. And it will give the expression of each gene in each sample that we sample have how much expression of this gene so hopefully this video will help you and will ease your uh, QRD PCR and their analysis if you have any query please comment and also don't forget to subscribe channel and like the video thank you